Have you ever noticed that most spiritual people seem to struggle financially? To me, that's not only a shame, it's completely unnecessary. My name is T. Harvecker, and I am thrilled you're going to be joining me on my upcoming Mind Valley Masterclass. I hope I'm not going to be too bold here by saying that if you consider yourself to be a spiritual person, but you also want to have plenty of money, then I believe this class is going to change your life. Why? Because I'm going to teach you exactly how you can be a kind, loving, peaceful, balanced, spiritual person and get really, really rich. That's right, both rich and spiritual and blend them beautifully together in your life. Now, is that normally what's taught out there? No. In fact, it's just the opposite. You know, there's, there's a lot of people who teach about money and business, but very seldom do they talk about heart and spirit. And there's a lot of wonderful spiritual teachers, but most of them would never dare talk about money and wealth. And why would they? To be honest, most of them are, are broke. My friends, it doesn't have to be that way. Money and spirituality do not have to be mutually exclusive. You know what? Trust me, I didn't always know that. I left school after my first year of college because my quest to become a millionaire wasn't going fast enough. I did everything I could to get rich. And over the next 10 years, I went through 12 different businesses and 14 different jobs trying to find my vehicle to wealth. But there were two problems. One, I was still broke. And two, I wasn't happy. So I made a decision that striving for millions was not the answer. And I began studying Zen and the Buddhist philosophies. I went on silent meditation retreats. I had my own guru with whom I studied daily. I was actually considering becoming a monk and living in the monastery. Three years later, guess what? I was still broke and worse, I was still unhappy. So striving only for wealth did not work for me. And striving only for spirituality didn't work for me either. I didn't know what to do. I was frustrated. I was confused. I was depressed. I remember sitting in the dark, looking up with tears in my eyes, saying, what do I do? What do I do? Do I try to make millions or do I try to follow the spiritual path? You know, it's a little hard to explain what happened next, but in that instant, my mind went completely blank and my heart seemed to open. And I heard this voice come through and to me. And the voice said very specifically, it said, Harv, embrace both parts of yourself, both parts of yourself. And in that moment, all of my questions were answered. I was clear as a bell. I felt in total alignment with both spirit and life. And I said, of course, why do I have to choose? I can be both. I can be spiritual and I can be rich. And I began to act that way. And all I can tell you is that my life changed to a point to where just two and a half years later, I was not only happy, I was a millionaire. And from there, I have gone on to lead a very, very spiritual life and become a multi, 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 and I could actually go on for a few minutes, millionaire. And now I have taught over a million people from all over the world how to do what I did and combine inner peace and balance and happiness and spirit with, with financial success. And the first thing I want you to realize is this, that spirit, that the universe is incredibly abundant. And you know that. There are billions of everything. There's, there's billions of stars, billions of trees, billions of creatures. So here's the question I have for you. If spirit is so abundant and you're not, then really, how connected and spiritual could you be? Of course, some of people are going to point to, you know, out uh, the biblical saying that says, money is the root of all evil. But you know what? That's not what the Bible says. It actually says that the love, let me repeat, the love of money is the root of all evil. And I agree, loving money is not a great thing. 
but loving money and having money are completely different. It's important to realize that money is nothing more than a tool. It's like a hammer. A hammer can be used to build and create, but it can also be used to hurt and to destroy. And so I ask you, is the problem the hammer or is it about the person holding the hammer or in this case, holding the money? So let me give you one idea right now that can change your life. And that is that you can actually use, I repeat, use your kindness, your generosity, your spirituality, and your desire for balance in your life in your favor to create any level of financial success that you want and, and help thousands and thousands of others along the way. And that, by the way, is how you make a lot of money. You make a lot of money by helping a lot of people. And in my masterclass, I will explain exactly how to do that. In addition, I'm also going to teach you the eight, eight biggest blocks that most people have when it comes to creating financial success. Why is this critical? Because financial success is actually natural and it's actually part of the flow of life. It's, it's kind of like a little, a little twig that's swept by the glacier down into the waterfall and then it goes down into the stream and then in, into the river and finally into a lake or the ocean. The little twig will naturally flow from the very beginning to the very end of its journey unless, and this is a big unless, it runs into a block. And then it's either going to be stopped for a short time or stopped forever. And you know what? It's the same with us. If you are willing to learn just a few simple skills, which I'll be teaching you, it will be natural, I repeat, natural for you to succeed. You know, to me, what that means is that if you are not realizing the wealth that you want right now, it's simply because you are being blocked by one of these eight obstacles. And my job is to help you identify your blocks and clear them. And once we do that, you will naturally flow towards all the money you need and want for yourself, for your family, and have plenty left over so you can help others as well. So now it's up to you. Do you want to live the best life possible? Do you want to help your family, your friends, your brothers and sisters from all over this planet live their life best possible? Do you want to be a kind, loving, peaceful, balanced, and spiritual person and also to have the wealth that you desire? Then do whatever it takes to be on this Mind Valley Masterclass. Like I said, it will change your life. From my heart to yours, I will see you soon. Namaste.